Welcome back to another episode of Modular Wild. I am Raul. Today we're going to be doing an audio demonstration with the Phonotronic MH31 voltage controlled modulator. Uh, hopefully you watched the profile video, which was a few weeks back, uh, where we talked about the basic features and functions of this module. This time we're going to do a little bit of listening to what this module sounds like. Um, I do have some things already sort of pre-patched here. I'll go through these and kind of discuss what we'll be, uh, what we'll be listening to here in a moment. Um, I have an oscilloscope off on the side that uh, we'll be using to sort of see what's actually happening. And uh, then I also have, well, that was an oscilloscope of the two signals going into it here in a moment. Uh, I also have another oscilloscope set up that will be seeing the final product uh, coming out of this cable over here. So let me go through these cables and then we'll go ahead and get started. Now, if you're not familiar with what this module is sort of intended to do, it's kind of a, let's see, a kind of a spin on the traditional uh, ring modulator idea, uh, but does provide some sort of differences. Uh, for a full list of differences, I would encourage you to check out the profile video and uh, also the Phonotronic MH31 uh, website page that gives you more detailed information on the module. But now let's just discuss the patch that we have set up in front of us so we can get on with the demonstration. Uh, let's see, we have a output from the DPO over here by Make Noise that's going over to our oscilloscope. And we're gonna be using this for the carrier signal right here in a moment. And then I also have the Z out over here uh, which if you look at the oscilloscope is going to be that waveform that is in the lower section right there. Um, so that's going to be via this blue cable. We're going to use that as our modulator signal. And uh, over at the other oscilloscope that's just kind of off by itself, that's going to be the final output which is coming out of here. So let's go ahead and patch some of this up and uh, we'll have a listen to what's going on. So I'm going to take the carrier signal, which I basically am taking a sine wave, and I'm going to patch it into the carrier input here. There we go. And I'm going to bring that signal up, and we should hear a little bit. So there you can hear the pitch of that sine wave. If you look at our scope, that's kind of what it looks like. So if I adjust the frequency, you can see the frequency will change on the scope. Higher or lower. Okay. And now we're gonna be sort of inputting the modulator signal via the Z out here. And that's kind of the waveform that's in the lower section over there. So we're just patching into the modulator signal input. There we go. And that's sort of like a triangle wave that's going in. And then I can adjust how much of that is input with the carrier till I get a sound that I like. And for those of you who like ring modulator sounds, uh, you'll know that it can help you produce a lot of inharmonic tones, kind of bell-like tones, nice side bands, that kind of thing, depending on what you're looking for. There we go. And now I can just kind of freely adjust the coarse tuning of my modulator signal if I want. Kind of like that. And then I can adjust the carrier signal too. Or if I wanted to, I could adjust both. Let's see. For varied effects. So that's sonically what's going on. Now let's take a look at what's actually happening here. So I'm gonna adjust the course tune of our modulation signal. And you can see our waveform over there at the second scope on our final output. That looks quite different than our two signals that are being input right now, our sine and our kind of triangle wave there. So let's take a look at that again. I'm gonna bring the pitch of the modulator down a little. Now let me bring the pitch of the DPO up a little bit. 
just so you can see what the differences are that are happening at the final output. Okay. So this is just one type of waveform. I decided we'd do just a simple sine wave uh, to start out with. Now I could, of course, choose a square output if I wanted to. Let's just hear that really quickly. And then, you know, I can adjust my frequency again. You should be able to see that over at the scope. There's our two signals to apart. And then over at our final output, there is the final output of the two being processed. Now let me adjust the modulator frequency again. Okay. So there you go, just a little basic demonstration. And now you can also sort of patch in a third signal as it says in the manual. Uh, so let's do that. Let's take a third uh, audio rate signal. Let's take a saw from the first half of the Make Noise DPO. So I'll take a saw from over here and I'll just patch it into the CVN right here. Now we're not going to get to see what this looks like but we'll know just by the visual here that this is going to be a saw wave. So let's have a listen. I'm going to bring the CV all the way down and then I'll bring it up to kind of hear how it's affecting our signal. So this is our signal right now at the scope of the current sign and the sort of triangle wave, or sorry, the pulse that we change it to, and the sort of triangle wave coming from our morphing terrarium over here. And then now we're going to slowly add the other waveform into this, the saw. So let's bring that up a little. Kind of like that. And let's take a look at the final output and see what's happening over there. As we can see, quite a different waveform now. And now I can make adjustments over at my DPO if I want to. And as we expect, they are having an effect on the final output. Alright, so that's just kind of a basic idea. You can use this to process uh, low frequency signals as well. Uh, for this demonstration we're just sticking with audio signals for now uh, and mainly like a synth or oscillator tone here. Uh, just to kind of spice it up a little bit so you can kind of hear what it would sound like in context. I have some CV notes right here and I'm just going to patch them in so we can kind of hear what this will sound like if you were playing them pitched. I can adjust my carrier now. So some nice clangorous sounds. And as this module is described in the manual, it is a very good uh, noisemaker uh, module that you can create a lot of harsh, uh, sort of very distinct and gritty types of sounds. Of course, you could always use it for varying levels of drones if you wanted to as well. Now this whole time we've been using a triangle wave as our modulator signal here, uh, but let me see if I can switch it up. That's by adjusting the Morph Z here. So let me just adjust it a little bit. 
And there you can see at our scope that shows the two individual signals. We have quite a different signal now that's us being used as a modulating signal. And I can even change that further if I want to. Maybe find something else. There we go, that's sort of another kind of a pulse shape. But some very nice, pretty, clangorous sounds coming out of our MH31. So that's going to do it for this specific demonstration. Let me unpatch our final output. Uh, hopefully you got some use out of this and got at least to hear sort of a basic demonstration as to what this uh, module can do. Um, in the next demonstration, I think we might do some drum processing and then maybe a few other things uh, that the voltage control modulator by Phonotronic can actually do. Um, if you have some sort of questions about maybe some of these other modules that we were using, um, I, have, I personally have not done one on the DPO, uh, but I know Make Noise has a very informative website and has quite a few demonstrations of this, uh, this very complex and great sounding uh, oscillator here. Um, the Morphing Terrarium, I do have sort of a collection on my Modular Wild channel, so if you're more curious about uh, the types of sound that this produces or what actually is involved in this little guy right here, uh, I do encourage you to watch that as well. Uh, but that's going to do it for me this time around, so stay tuned and check out the next video.